Well, I don't know about that. Yeah, but I don't think that's every time. But, you know, I mean, he started out really good, and then, you know, we got that uh, one inning. I, I think I said a couple weeks ago that it's amazing what happens to us. You know, simple bunt sometimes, you know, it's really. Um, yeah, and then it just, I mean, then we, you know, we, we hit around and uh, batted around. But we got some good thing. You know, Pompey got his first home run. We had some good at-bats. You know, Ghost, a nice double down the line there. So we did a lot of good things. And, you know, I mean, after last night scoring a lot of runs, you know, we've been starved for runs and, and uh, beat a couple pretty good damn good pitchers. John, when you're facing another team that's that's fighting for a playoff spot, is there any extra motivation or satisfaction in in getting in their way? You know, even if you, you're not playing for it yourself. Maybe I, you know I, I I'm not sure. You know, uh, I think everybody's disappointed where we're at. Um, but you know, they could come out and try to win a game. You know, you, you face you know the guys we did the last couple nights. You know, it's not going to be an easy task. I mean, they, I mean, these are rare things, you know, especially doing a back-to-back -back days against those guys. Uh, so you just enjoy that. But, um, I mean, you really you try to win. But, yeah, I mean, you enjoy if you, if somebody else got a shot at it and, you, and you're at the end, you know, you, you yeah, you get a little enjoyment out of it. That's not what drives you, but it never hurts. Uh, R.A. Dickey's put together a string of some pretty solid starts here in the last couple of months. What's his consistency meant for your rotation? Well, I mean, he's been really good. Um, you know, for the most part lately, he's been staying away from the home run ball. Uh, and, but, you know, I mean, you know, the roof was open. He was really good tonight, so that kind of dispels that theory. Um, you know, when, when his knuckleball's on, he, he's awfully tough, you know, and, it, and it, um, it's, it's tough to square it up. I mean, they're going to get it every now and then if it kind of just sits there. But, uh, yeah, he's been on a nice little roll. I think that was his 14th win. He's, uh, he's had a heck of a year. Kawasaki back in the five hole tomorrow? Why not? Give you guys something to talk about. Pompey was telling me on the field that, you know, power really is not part of his usual game, but we've seen him hit the ball hard a few times for flyouts. Even that one he went opposite field on the road that almost went out. Uh, do you see this guy being someone who could at some point? hit 15, 20 home runs, or is it too soon to kind of say? Well, it's early to say, but, yeah, I could definitely see that because, I mean, he's got some leverage. He's a big kid, and he's only going to get stronger. I mean, he's, he's strong now. Yeah, and you know what? I mean, he's got a good swing, you know. He, he uh, and he's, you know, we were talking the last few days, he's got a great idea of the strike zone. Um, but when you have a good swing, I mean, you got a chance to be a good hitter, and, and uh, I don't think he'll be known as a power hitter, but I, there's no reason he, he couldn't hit his share. And you know, he, I mean, he's got a he's got a chance to be a very dangerous player, you know, whether it's on the offense, offensive side and the defensive side, you know. And he's got a good head on his shoulder, you know. He's a you know very intelligent kid. You know, he's he's taking it all in right now. Um, but you but you look at him when he's standing in the batter's box. I mean, he looks like a veteran hitter. And you know, the first time up for him, I mean, you really never know what you're going to get. Whether you know some kids are intimidated, uh, but we haven't seen that out of him at all. John, if uh, Kansas City hangs on tonight in the ninth inning, that would officially eliminate you guys. When you go back at the end of this year, how do you think you're going to reflect back on on how things went this season? What's what's going to stick out for you the most? I won't reflect one bit. I've been doing it for six months. What sticks out? I, I don't. You know, I don't know. I mean, a lot of good times, a lot of tough times. Um, but I said, you know, in the end, the teams that get there earn it. You know, your, your best teams go. The ones that aren't, they don't go. I mean, that's it's, um, uh, it's just the way it is when you play that many games.